God gives us the word. He wants us to know what he knows. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you, uh, Brother Collins, what does the devil, how does he weaken and diminish this, the, or, or soften the weight of the prophets today? There was so much that you guys have just said on this set that is like, I'm going to jump out of my seat. Yeah. Particularly, and I'm going to get to that, particularly when you talked about discerning of spirits. Mm -hmm. um, in one of the chapters of the book, I talk about revelatory deliverance. Mm -hmm. And there, there needs to be, um, and what I mean by revelatory deliverance is, is that, that God gives you a revelation on a matter mm -hmm. where you're able to identify, to diagnose problems. The days in this hour where God is now causing prophets not to just prophesy, but to provide strategy. Yes. Yes. We need in this season not just another word. We need a strategy, yes. and we need the mind of God. We need the wisdom of God on the matter, but we also need to discern that there are yes. opposing forces, unseen yeah. forces that are behind the scene that are hearing that word, mm -hmm. Amando. They are seeing, okay, did God say that? Okay, if God said that you're to build... Uh, this church, mm -hmm. that all of the forces of hell is going to come against it That's because right. it's going to make you doubt, did God really say that? Mm -hmm. And so we need to be able to not only be obedient, radically obey the word of the Lord, but we have to also be conscious that there is an unseen enemy. Their warfare, I mean, that's why Paul even admonishes Timothy is to uh, wage war with your prophecy. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Because your prophecy right. is a weapon. Yeah. And so if God has spoken it, he is sure to perform it, but there is this this uh, this thing of warfare that comes alongside yeah. to try to stop, to hinder, and as to your question, as to soften the weight of the prophetic. The prophetic is more than just another word. You have to understand we are called to disarm, to dismantle, disengage, yeah. to overthrow. And I'm telling you, we see that commissioning in, in Jeremiah as a prophet yeah. was he is to root out, to pluck up, yeah. to well, tear right. down, to overthrow. So it's not just another word. We are right. to come in, to reign, to rule yeah. in the midst of our enemy. Yeah. We are to yeah. come yeah. And, to, and to declare yeah. that the kingdom of God is here. Yeah. And so the voice of the prophet is key and it is critical, but we need discerning of spirits. Yes, and so we yes. need to be able to identify and to diagnose problems, sicknesses. There are all kinds of proclivities, things that we need. So the prophets are coming with solutions in yes, their mouths. They're yes. coming with strategy in their mouth. They're coming with not only just, uh, but they're coming with words yes. that will bring answers to the world's problems. That's it. Excellent. We need Amen. it. We need it. We need the voice of the prophets to arise. Yes. Amen.